<clears throat> What's good, y'all? It's your boy Jay Brock is clap it up LA. Clap, 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 clap. You know what I'm saying? Right here, which you see it. Dirty worms. Y'all know the iconic bag of Kool-Aid. They took it to business, man. How you doing today? Hey man, we're doing good. It's a nice, nice summer day, and you know, we are we, here in LA. Yeah. Showing love, you know, spreading the goodness. That's right, straight like that. Now, tell us about what flavors do you have to offer with the dirty worms? Oh man, so check it out. So we have a variety. Yeah. Right now, right now we bought four out of the five. Uh huh. But check it out. We have the chamoy extahin. Chamoy. That was really known for like that little spice with the fruitness of the gummy worms. Yeah. Grape explosion. You get that uh -huh. grapefruity flavor. Uh -huh. Tropical punch. The OG. Yeah. You know, you, you you bite into that gummy worm. There's no going back. You're gonna taste that Kool Aid, and oh man, you you you're hooked. Yeah, uh, for we sure. Got the, we got the. Let's see, I think we said the great, we got the raspberry. raspberry. So the raspberry is like a blue Jolly Rancher flavor. Can't go wrong with that one. Sticky. And, you know, that's why we call them dirty. Because as you're eating them, you got to keep, you know, licking your fingers and, you know, getting rid of that syrup. But hey, straight like that. I feel that. Dirty. I feel that. So what got you started? Where did you, where did this idea originate from? Because we know, you know, if we went to middle school, elementary school, people would have the Kool-Aid gummy worms. But you went business. So uh, talk about your beginnings with Kool-Aid gummy worms. Where did yours start? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. So it was back in middle school yeah and uh which was when i was uh like back in 2014 2013 and uh pretty much i was just i was always a you know young entrepreneur that, that's when i figured out that hey entrepreneurship is is my way because uh, at that time i was really just trying to put some money in my pocket and uh really just trying to you know it was it was for a goal which was to get my hands on my first skateboard mm -hmm. and uh you know growing up we grew up in a nice neighborhood and whatnot um, with, you know, uh, a, sh a, 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 sh a house over our head and you yeah. know, food on the table, but yeah. um, you know, just asking for certain luxuries wasn't wasn't our thing. So I was just trying to you know come up with different ways to you know come up with some money for that. And sure enough, started selling you know Mexican candies. Uh, over a period of time, I, I you know worked in the cafeteria, and that's kind of where I started you know getting these checks. Mm. And, you know bi-weekly every every two weeks uh, started saving and here and there you know I started buying my parts but then over a period of time I was just kind of you know over the fact that I had to give up my you know snack my lunch to you know get, get my time for this check so I was you know started thinking yeah. started putting this to work that's and, right uh, that's that's when we came up with this idea and uh, honestly during that time I was already skating I got my first skateboard from all that saving mm -hmm. so as you know someone going to the skate park you know, meeting meeting new people, meeting older people. I was around, you know, different different uh, people from different high schools, different middle schools. So mm -hmm. one of my boys from another high school was actually doing something very similar, where he was mixing all you know, his gummies with, uh, you know, with these uh, sugar infused gummy worms. Yeah. And, uh, okay. From there, I was just like, hey, you know what? We don't have nothing like this at my middle school. Let me let me see if I can uh, do something with this. And yeah. Sure enough, just jumped in the kitchen, started playing with different flavors, you know, uh, homemade recipes and. There we were taking taking dirty worms to the to the middle school campus, and uh, honestly, at first, we you know it took a while to get the word out, but yeah, after for a sure. couple of weeks, man, kids were coming back asking for five, asking for six, you know, more than one bag, and yeah. that's kind of when I knew, you know, yeah. we had something, we had something good, and uh, just from there, going into high school it was a little side hustle. Senior year is kind of when you know we took this, you know, into it had blew into up. Yeah, yeah, we were yeah. All like, you know what? Let's get the packaging. Let's get a, la a logo, yeah, yeah. and you know, let's let's turn this into something to see, you know, where we can take it. And you yeah. know, here we are. You know, yeah. spreading spreading the goodness. Yeah, straight like that. I mean, that's a beautiful situation because you know it started off because you needed to hustle for a skateboard, and you turn this into a full on income now, which oh, is yeah, a beautiful definitely. thing. And that's how a lot of the stuff start. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So when you, what's your personal favorite flavor? Uh, personal favorite flavor. Yeah. I want to say the chamoy. Chamoy. The chamoy. Yeah, okay, yeah, the that's, chamoy. That's, that's the chamoy extahin. Chamoy and tahin. And then after that one, you know, definitely the tropical punch. Those two right there are the are the heavy hitters. Those are the hitters right there. Those are the hitters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, sure. got you. So have you ever have you ever experimented to where someone was like, you know what, we really don't care too much about this flavor, and has that ever like made you eliminate a flavor, so to speak? Uh, so you know what, actually in the beginning with the chamoy, yeah. we actually um, had a different formula as okay. to how we were putting that flavor together. Yeah. And honestly, over just trial and error, hearing what people had to say, we kind of you know just adjusted, tweaked it, tweaked it up a little bit, yeah. and uh, you know came up with the formulas that we have right now. Yeah. And uh, same with other flavors, you yeah. know, it was just kind of going in the kitchen, seeing what worked out, mm -hmm. taking it, uh, you know, to where the customers can try it, give us feedback, and that's ultimately how we came up with yeah. you know the formulas that we have right now. And and honestly, um, it was not easy, but it was real 
I guess you can say easy for us to hear what the customers had to say mm -hmm. since we were doing a lot of direct to consumer sales at, at, gotcha. in front of restaurants, in, gotcha. front, of, uh, yeah. in front of bars, yeah. you know, really doing those pop ups yeah. so we can interact. Yeah. And ultimately, they can see who's behind the brand, which are, you know, young entrepreneurs who yeah. are, you know, uh, trying, to, trying to do something with yeah. this. That's a beautiful thing because you can take that correction from somebody and learn from it and actually, you know, learn more oh, instead yeah, of getting yeah, upset definitely. and tearing yourself down. Yeah, so that's yeah, a beautiful sure. thing, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Dirty worms. And y'all make sure y'all tap in. Last but not least, yeah. what do you clap it up for when you think about everything you've been through and when you stand a day in life? Uh, I, I what I can clap it up for is you know where where we've uh, taken this to, mm -hmm. uh, 160 plus retailers that are you know carrying our product oh, man, that's big. with uh, you know the family uh, you know being the backbone you yeah. know without you know those those uh, individuals being in the positions that they're in which are you know si siblings cousins yeah. close friends yeah. uh, you know we wouldn't be able to you know uh, be at the level that we're at and yeah. you know there's still much more for us to come across and for us to you know achieve but i can clap it up for you know where we're at right now with the team that we have you know yes behind, sir behind yes sir back. straight like that make sure y'all follow up at Dirty Worms, spelled with two S's. You know what I'm saying? Let them know. Clap it up, LA. Let's go. Straight like that, bro. Clap it up, LA. Dirty Worms, we out.